best pen to start on, the McClaw family, they've been here since day one. There's nine of them. Due. 30th of Jan, seven weeks. Due the 30th of Jan, there we go. Annual sellers and their beautiful levers. Where for those? 1200 $500, call it out. $1,150. Now, Warnable agents on Monday conducted their F1 sale. Uh, Jack Kelly joins me. Jack, um, numbers are getting scarce for this sale now, back to about 900 head uh, in the sale, but um, you would have been reasonably happy with uh, the second draft for Kelly. Maybe the uh, top draft for Kelly might have made able to make a bit more money. Yeah, look, I, I think, um, no, you're exactly right. I, I think that's what we expected for, for the, uh, the the better heifers, but it's probably more the second one the cattle have made very close, if not the same money. Yeah, the the F ones, uh, the the um, Angus Friesen cross topped at uh, uh, twelve hundred and twenty five dollars, and the best of the Charolais cross uh, to uh, thirteen hundred and eighty dollars. You'd be pretty pleased with uh, that that that. that those sorts of sales? Yeah, that's what we expected. We did discuss it prior to, and that's exactly for the tops, but it's the second run of cattle that made more than I thought. Very hard to buy anything uh, that didn't have four figures in it, like uh, under under the $1,000? Yeah, look, and, and whereas the last few years, they've been very, very cheap, those cattle, but they second run of cattle, and I still read good cars. Yeah. Read good cars. Talk about the, uh, the market here today, that the Vila produces, while it's a... Uh, sort of a dying sort of industry, uh, making good money still, uh, better than what you'd think that the um, the uh, Angus breeders are. So. Yeah, look, it's, it's, I think it's just their temperament and ease of handling, but it's probably the domestic market is, is probably the thing that hasn't gone up in comparison to the live export, and, uh, but I think that will change. Talking of live export there today, uh, you can see that the influence of the live export with the freezing industry... Um, with their, with their live export, very hard to find F1 unjoined um, uh, females now. We're well, very small yarding here. Yeah, look, and, and that's uh, yeah due, due to the season, and some people may already offloaded earlier uh, through our local market here, uh, and it's, it's just such a tough year from the first of August on to keep these young cattle on. And that probably had an influence on our numbers where any other year they would have been easy to hold on. But with the introduction of the, the dairy side, with the Frisians, Frisian Cross and Jersey, the export side, everyone's putting in dairy balls and very few Frisian balls. Yeah. Good buying support here from the South West as you'd expect, but uh, a, a good uh, depth of inquiry came from across the bridge and uh, into Gippsland. Yeah, look, and they're having a good season, so it was nice to see uh, them, them take the trip here and, and did come and buy. But our locals will probably, well, I expected they might have been a little bit stronger because of the season, and uh, they're waiting probably to sell off a few more vealers. They haven't got a lot of surplus feed, and hay's very dear, so I think they might see down the track, but I think it'll only be today at Warrnambool and Camperdown coming up very soon. They'll be the only opportunities to buy.